This hot weather can pose all sorts of risks from heat stroke to fire hazards. And tonight we're learning children and pets aren't the only ones that shouldn't be left in cars. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is outside our studio to show us the other risks with this sweltering heat. Megan. Well, Jessica, I'll tell you one of the risks I experienced today. My makeup has melted off twice, so I've had to reapply it. But hey, that's just the heat. It's hot outside. It's even hotter inside of cars. This car right here has been sitting in the sun. It's at 133 right now, 133.5. It was at 145 just about 90 minutes ago. Shows you how hot it can get. And when it's hot, you need to think about what you're leaving in your car. We did it, Denver. We tied the daily record high temperature today when the thermometer topped out at 101 degrees. Inside your car, temperature raises rapidly. Things are even hotter and that can be dangerous. There are the typical worries. So we really worry about children being left inside of vehicles and certainly pets being left inside of vehicles as well. And water bottles? Sun comes through the window, through the water bottle, which acts as a magnifying glass. In rare cases, it could cause a fire. So like a lot of people, I too am guilty of leaving water bottles in my car. This one has been in my car for a few days now, and we're going to see if we can use it to try to burn a hole in this piece of paper. So we're trying to see if we can get it to magnify. I think right there is about as good as we're going to get. After just 90 seconds, see the paper discoloring. Then about 10 minutes later, we started getting too hot in the sun and my arms started getting tired and sunburned, so we stopped. Burning my fingers. But when we flipped the paper over, there were burn marks on the back. So the bottom line for South Metro Fire is. This would be take that water bottle with you. So we want people to be staying hydrated anyway. There's really no reason to leave it in a cup holder. This is the battery. But that's not the only thing that shouldn't be left in your car. The direct heat and sunlight can it can create hot spots on the screen. Your cell phone could also be damaged. Basically can burn. You can burn the pixels and older batteries can pose a danger. This is the gas that can build up in the in the battery. I've had one uh, catch on fire here in the shop before, so. So if your phone is three years or older, look out for the warning signs. If you've seen the screen puff up in a corner, even if it's not broken, if it's peeling apart at all, then uh, there's a good chance that this thing is swelling up inside of it. Now that cell phone expert I spoke with says that these batteries and, and these cell phones in general have gotten more and more heat resistant as the technology improves. But if you have to leave your cell phone in your car, he says the best thing to do is to put it under the seat or in the glove box somewhere where it's not going to be exposed to direct sunlight. I'm live Megan Lopez, Denver 7. All right, Megan, thank you.